All right, the web tool that I'm going to uh, review for this time is going to be Prezi. Um, as you see, this is the main website, Prezi.com. We'll go ahead and log in from here so you can get used to it. Um, as you see, you can connect it with your LinkedIn or Facebook accounts, uh, which makes things a little bit easier to work with. Log in. And this is going to be your basic dashboard. Um, any Prezi's that you may have um, created will be here posted or you can go into a brand new one it can be divided by folders now because I'm a teacher I'm using the free version that's available to teachers and students there are also uh, higher tiers where you pay a certain amount monthly uh, to participate and that way it gives you your private um, presentations it also gives you more space to work with and so forth but for our uh, issue of what we're doing today I'm just gonna go ahead and use the free version I'm going to go to a presentation that I started with. Uh, ignore the name. It's not actually the name of the presentation. And when I click on it, it's immediately going to go into presentation mode. If I was creating a new one, it would, of course, give me a blank slate. Now, I want to go ahead and make some edits to this. So, click the edit button. It's going to tell me it's not enough space. It's okay. And then it loads right up. Now, this is my basic presentation. I went through, um, I was able to add some pictures, some text, and what you'll notice and what a lot of people like about Prezi is the transition from one slide or one section to the next, it gives a little bit more of uh, animation with it. And depending on how you have it set up, you can continue to move about and do some different things. Now, my presentation was, you know, what to do with a Prezi. So, second slide you know used for making interesting presentations we can do a lot of things with it um, challenging pieces for example getting used to the arrangement I know for anyone who's used to just using PowerPoint alone it can be a little bit of a, um, a shock to the system in terms of how to get things done and where certain things are some good pieces very easy to navigate tools aren't hidden For the most part everything you need is going to be right in this area if you need to add text you just double click and it opens up the space for you to go ahead and add in your text and of course what do you think now the other thing that I like about it is if you go back to my first slide or first section notice I have this picture here one of the things that I wanted to do is in the end I wanted to end back where we began so I zoomed into that shot and actually added in another slide. This is a capability that you can't really do a lot in PowerPoint, but it works out really nice in Prezi and it gives a little bit of a um, engaging vibe to it. Now, if I wanted to insert anything, my images, symbols, shapes, YouTube videos, or anything, all that is available. It even has customized layouts, all these different things that I can add in or create from. PowerPoint or PDF or so forth. This makes it a lot easier to work with and um, at the same time if you're more used to PowerPoint you can pull some things that you've already done into this to try to make it more engaging and a little bit more um, interesting to those who are viewing it. Um, as stated before then after that we just present and as we go through the presentation Notice it just bounces around, giving us the full idea of what's going on. Now the final question is, what do you think? Leave comments and uh, give me some feedback on uh, some things you like about Prezi, some things you don't like about Prezi, um, and different things that I can actually research to see how I can use it a little bit more on my own. Thank you very much and have a good day.